guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a much needed me time slash pamper routine and i'm going to be trying some new products so i've already taken a shower because i like taking a shower before i take a bath and so i've already washed my hair i just wanted to show you guys what hair mask i'm going to be using i needed to resaturate my hair before applying the product so i'm just taking the spray bottle and getting my hair as wet as possible because my hair just loves to soak in product when it is soaking wet. So this is the new Briorgio Kiwi and Avocado Mask. And let me tell you guys, it's new to my channel because I haven't posted it yet. But as you can see, I've been using it a lot and I am obsessed with it. It just has so much slip. It makes my hair feel so moisturized. I don't know what they put in this, but it literally melts into my hair. I'm gonna leave this hair mask in and let it do its thing while I do the rest of my pamper routine. So I'm just gonna take a plastic cap, Put it on and then I'm going to just throw my turban back on top to trap in the heat and let the mask soak for a little bit. Next up, I'm going to cleanse my skin using the Bare Minerals Pureness Gel Cleanser. I've been loving this cleanser. It's super, super, super good for sensitive skin because it's only made with like 15 clean ingredients. It makes my skin feel nice and clean without being stripped, which is really important for me right now. As you guys know, I am rebuilding and strengthening my moisture barrier. So I've been very picky about the products I've been using and I really like this cleanser. And I'm just gonna also simultaneously steam my skin. This just helps to add hydration and it helps to get me a deeper cleanse. Now you guys probably think I steam all the time because you guys always see me steam on my channel, but I really only steam maybe once or twice a week. And let me tell you, it will completely elevate your skincare routine. Highly recommend. So after cleansing and steaming, I'm just gonna take a warm towel and rinse off the cleanser. After cleansing my skin, I'm going to go in and just remove some facial hair. I know I'm not the only girl who gets some facial hair like on the chin area or on the sides of my face. So I'm happy to partner with Regine. As you guys can see, it comes in this really cute case. This slant tip tweezer is perfect for removing anything that may be stuck under the skin, like ingrown hairs, thorns, glass, splinters. I grow these really thick hairs on the side of my chin and face for some reason. I'm pretty sure it's just a hereditary thing, but when it comes to removing facial hair or any hair on your body, you just wanna be very particular about the tool and the technique that you use because you don't want to cause damage to your skin. I really like the durability and the quality of this tweezer. The tip will easily grip the hair to pull it from the root so the hair doesn't break, which is good because that can cause ingrown hairs. The precision tip of the Regine tweezer features a hand itching in the interior of the tip and that's how they grab the hair from the root every time. For me, sometimes it takes a couple tries to actually grip the hair the right way to pull it out, but the more you do it, the easier it will get. It's a lot less messy and a lot less painful for me than trying to wax my face. Tweezers are professional quality because they are handcrafted in Switzerland using surgical grade tempered stainless steel and they'll never run out. They'll never have to be sharpened. They're going to last you a long time. I love these tweezers. They're probably the best tweezers that I've ever used. They're just so durable and they work so well. I actually find it really convenient to leave this on my makeup vanity because let's say I do have one of these stubborn hairs before I do my makeup, I can just pull it out real quick. Same thing with the brows. Let's say I wanna do my brows and I just have extra hairs. It makes it really easy and simple to just pull them out with this tweezer. The tweezer is actually at a perfect 25 degree angle which makes doing your brows really easy. If you guys wanna be tweezer twins and you want to try these out, I do have a 20% off coupon code. You can use my code KC20. The link to purchase this tweezer will be in the description box along with my coupon code. So next up after tweezing I just like to apply a hydrating face mask just to soothe the skin and because my skin has been super dehydrated anyway so this has been the hydrating mask that I've been using recently and I really like it. It's the Bolden Glow Hydrating Mask. It's like a jelly and I like to keep this in my skincare fridge because when you apply it to your skin while it's cool it just adds an extra layer of soothing. It says to leave this mask on for 10 to 15 minutes, but as you guys will see, I'm gonna leave this mask on during my entire pamper routine session. Next up, I actually noticed that I had some hair under my underarms, so I decided to go ahead and prep them and get ready to sugar wax. I do have a video showing in detail how I sugar wax myself at home, so I'll be sure to link that video down below if you want to watch. I also don't make my own homemade sugar wax. I buy a pre-made sugar wax, so I will link that down below for you guys as well. But I pretty much just cleanse the area with some alcohol and then I dry the area with some baby powder. I warm up my sugar paste in the microwave for about 20 seconds and then I use a little applicator to apply the sugar and pull it off. 
Sometimes I do get the sugar stuck, so I just take a wax strip and pull it off, and it makes it super easy to get most of the hair. Sometimes though, I do have hairs left over, and this is where those tweezers come in handy again from Regine, because I can easily just pull out any leftover hairs, and I don't have to worry about getting ingrown hairs or damaging my skin. So next up, something new that I have been doing is actually exfoliating my skin before I take a bath. I have really been loving this dipped in honey glow vanilla and honey scrub. The crystals are very fine, so it's not a very harsh exfoliator. It's perfect if you have sensitive skin or if you just don't want to use a harsh exfoliator. I also like that it leaves kind of a body butter film on your skin, so when you get in the bath, it protects your skin from drying out. So now I'm going to get ready to start running my bath and while the bath is running I'm actually going to make myself some tea. The tea that I have been obsessed with recently is this organic green tea. It's really good. Um, green tea has a lot of great benefits. It helps with your skin, it helps with your immunity, it helps with your energy. I'm first just warming up the water in this little tea kettle. I think I got it at Publix. And I put the tea bag in my cup and then I'm pouring that boiling hot water over the tea bag. I also like to add just a little bit of lemon to my tea and I also really love the flavor of mint so I've been putting mint in my tea as well and just a little bit of honey. Not really a little bit, a lot for me. <laughs> I really used to be a big tea girl but since I've been making this mixture I've been drinking tea almost twice a day. So now heading back into my bathroom. Um, my water is still running, so I'm just going to add the Sweet Cookie Bath Milk. It's a new product from Sweet Cookies. So this product is supposed to be better for your cookie than regular bath bombs or regular bath milks. It's made with ingredients to help balance your pH, including apple cider vinegar, coconut milk, baking soda, rose petals, chamomile, and lavender. And it's going to help with any type of irritation you might have, any odor you might have, yeast infection symptoms. Um, this was my first time actually using it, and I would say I really enjoyed it. I'm also just going to go grab my tea and add it to my little bath tray, which I actually bought this on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store down below. You guys know I had to have my aromatherapy, so I'm going to light this candle from my friend Lacey's brand called Balance & Co. Check it out. I'll link it down below. Um, this is in the scent Freedom, and it was already smoking because I had already lit it before, but yeah, it's a really good smell. And I also have my eucalyptus right here to give me some more aromatherapy as well. Now my bath is all set up and I can sit down and just chill. Um, I love taking baths. I don't do them often just because I don't like to clean the tub afterwards. But I just like to sit in, drink my tea, smell the aromatherapy. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos. Because I do have that scrub still on my body, I'm just going to take the water and, you know, just massage it in and let the scrub melt into my skin. As you guys can see, it kind of also has a soapy consistency to it, and that's because it'll also help to cleanse your skin. So it's like a two-in-one scrub. I really like it. This wasn't my first time using it, but I've been using it for maybe about a week or two now consistently, and I wanted to show you guys because I really like it. So after just massaging all of that off and after I've already had enough of relaxing in the tub, I'm going to hop back out the tub and just apply this deodorant. This is the new Kosa Sport deodorant another new product that I have really been enjoying. Like this might just be my new favorite deodorant. <laughs> I'm also gonna grab my Yoni oil by Souvenir and I like to just apply this whenever it starts to feel a little bit dry down there. Um, it only goes on the external part of course. I like to put it also on my bikini area on top where I do get waxes regularly. So it just helps to keep the skin nice and moist and soft. For my body lotion, I'm going to use this new lotion that I just received from Lord Jones. This is their CBD body lotion. And this stuff is so luxurious. It has like a really, I'm really going to call it a royal scent because it just smells so like feminine but strong and sensual. The consistency is also really nice. Um, I really like the way that it applies to my skin. This is my first time using it and I'm definitely going to continue to use it because I love how it felt on my skin. And I just applied this all over my body, my legs, my arms, everything. So once I finished applying the lotion all over my body, I still have on this face mask as you guys can see. So I just took a warm towel and when it comes to hydrating masks like this, I don't fully rinse them off. I just take the towel and press the remaining serum-ish stuff from the mask into my skin and it makes my skin feel nice and hydrated. So last but not least, I'm just following up with my skincare routine. I'll link my current skincare routine down below if you guys want to watch it. I'm not going to go in full detail on this video, 
So after I'm done with my skincare, I'm pretty much finished. I did decide to leave in the hair mask just because I didn't feel like doing my hair. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my discount code below for the regime tweezers. I highly recommend trying them out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.